Ready? Go ahead. Yeah, beautiful. All right, here comes the transmission. Last time we left off with you guys, we uh, were working on the controller. We were planning on putting the controller right here with the, the prior fuel tank on top of it. I mean, like, what's left of the fuel tank at this point? We have to cut the entire bottom out to flip the controller, which is also over here. Where'd you put the gas? Huh? Where'd you put the gas to that? Put it in the truck. Oh, always. Of course. Always, dude. We have to make a bracket for this. Well, number one, we have to move these wires, mm -hmm. move this harness, move this tab over, run it underneath the bike instead of on top. We have to grind that so there's a good surface to weld onto. And then on this, we have to make a plate or get a plate right here, a nice rectangular plate to mount this controller on top of. We got a sprocket from Granger earlier today, which was a great pickup, but unfortunately it was slightly too small for the shaft of the motor. So we had to do some manipulation to make that a little bit easier to fit onto the shaft. As you can see, we, we reamed it out because this uh, inch and an eighth, this, you know, seemed like that. But it, but 30 it, millimeters it's, is, it's, it's, yeah, it's, is it's, 30 it's, millimeters. Yeah, it's, yeah. we have to make it a slightly bigger for it to work. These are made in China, not knocking Chinese. But, you know, sometimes, I mean, no, I mean, I meant, <laughs> try, like. Where are you going with this? China is a beautiful country. I, I've never visited because I don't like So anyway, so yeah, this was made in a different country where sometimes um, accuracy isn't on the top priority list. So we had to do some modifications to get that to fit. The next thing we, we have to think about is, yeah, that seat, and that's gonna create a slight problem too. You want it to fit a little bit more snug on there. We There is a keyway for it, go figure. The key's yeah. right there. So the other presented challenge here is this keyway is perfect until we bring it over this guy and then when I put this on here yeah there's still some play in it so the, that, that's a slight issue and by slight I mean it's kind of a, a big it's one kind of horrible because if you look at this the fact that that's floating around there so easily isn't ideal so we need a much bigger key but the problem with that is once we get a much bigger one there then we have to make this one in turn larger as well this fits perfectly in there but here it's just too small. So much room, there's so much play on that. You ever thrown a toothpick into a volcano? After that, we ordered a, a rear sprocket too. So what we're doing is we're gonna convert this to chain drive. We should have that, I think, tomorrow. So we have to remove the rear wheel, remove this uh, old belt drive, put the new sprocket on for the chain adapter, run a new chain, and attach it to this. Uh, the motors we've been getting are from Golden Motors. We had the original motor in the CDEL. Remember the CDEL, Steven? So the CDEL, we had the original uh, 10 kilowatt in there. Remember, this was powered by drill back. What a, what a day that was drill batteries of all things. We have the small controller there and uh, also they offer different motors ranging from three kilowatts all the way to 20, which is the 20 kilowatt that we have in there. And their customer service is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, Golden. And then what we're thinking of doing too is uh, when we turn this shaft, uh, there's a second set screw on this side. What we're gonna do after we back, actually after we figure out the final placement, we're gonna back out this set screw, run a drill bit through there to mark the location and we're gonna put a dimple right there. So there's actually two places where, uh, where the sprocket mounts to the shaft. Let's go to Walmart. What? Let's go to Walmart. Why? Let's go, come on. Right now? Yeah. What do, you, what do we need at Walmart right now? <laughs> Bravo Sierra, now available at Walmart. This is citrus and cedarwood. And this fragrance was helped made in part by a luxury fragrance designer. Can you leave that, Stephen? What? How often can you buy something that's so cost-effective and smells so good by a designer for this low of a price? I, I, I just don't know. You really can't. It's almost impossible. See, I think I hold one second. Now, let me, let me just... Juniper berry, cinnamon, cedarwood. What else is there? There's some peppers in here, too. I smell peppers. You have a very distinctive nose. I really do. Honestly, where else are you going to get juniper berries? I don't even know where they're from. And that's okay, because it smells good. Also, there's all day BO protection. Yeah, this is tested with our military. This is really good. And you know, military people, they work hard mm -hmm. and, they, and they perspire. 
right? <laughs> sure do. They're, they're going to sweat, and this protects them. Also, there's no baking soda, aluminum. Really? In this, yeah. None. A lot of the odorants is aluminum in it, and it's just like, you, how do you, what are yeah. you, Wolverine? What are you, Iron Man? No, that's vibranium. Even still. It'd be it more like Tin Man. It doesn't matter, yeah. Steven. Yeah, you don't want that on your armpits, do that's you? That's true. No matter who you are. Definitely not. Get some citrus and cedar wood from Bravo Sierra. Go at walmart.com right now, or go right into a Walmart and see all the wonderful people of Walmart. We should stop hiding behind the Walmart trucks now, because we did the we burn. Promise. We promise. John, what are, you, um, what are you doing? So what's, so what's going back on? I am back what's going back trying to here? figure out the diameter of the hole that's in this grip. By putting your finger in it? Yes. <laughs> a sock work. Yes. That's, that's a that's number, amazing. I don't know, number, I don't know what my finger is. That's amazing. Yeah, what I haven't been yeah, here. I haven't what's your ring size, size very, What size is your ring? He hasn't been know. asked for his ring size in a very long time. <laughs> I haven't used my... <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna fit on there. Mm. Uh, so can we wait a minute? Mm, no. um. That is that's part of the nose, so that that's fine. Um why this front towel isn't coming up? I don't know. Uh you got needle nose? Never mind. Yep. Cool. Ta da! It's like a wedding dress thing. Uh, the skirt. Yeah. Oh look, bright orange Harley Davidson plastic. Look at this, man. This is like a relic. I told you, you just don't even off. have. That's amazing. A cigarette lighter adapter. That's a debate. Do you leave everything in here? Because one of them's oil. That's no longer it's needed. Not turning on. One of them's broke. one of them's air. That's no longer needed. That's two. Fuel is not needed anymore. That's three. Uh, twelve volt battery. No, well, there's no twelve volt anymore. Mm -hmm. So these four are gone. So at that point, maybe we can make like a, just a, a shroud here, like a plug just yeah. to cover it up. You know, I don't know. That's the debate. Do you leave it in there? Do they do nothing or just cover them up? I don't know. What do you cover them with? What's this, I don't know, a piece of ABS. Yeah. Cut it in a circle and just kind of. Just a little smiley space, yeah. space sticker. Maybe Harley Davidson over and over again. Just, just, or, or just live to ride, ride to live. Yeah, born to run. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. So we've been at this for about four and a half hours now. And the only reason why we're doing this is to find out what tape was in that deck. We need now, Steven, what do you think it is? All we want to know. I, I he thinks it's ACDC. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Yeah. Okay, look, looking at this bike, Harley Davidson 1997 Electric Glide. I'm going to say Notorious B.I.G. After much ado. It's all rusted. He's saying... We'll let the studio on his side. Yeah. You said Notorious B.I.G. Yep. Mm. Some, some black artist, for sure. For sure. You know, you're, slow, you're slowing this down on purpose, right? Be suspenseful. There's yes. no way it's taking you this long. All right. There's you want to try it? There's no way. I'm holding the light, dude. I'm kind of busy right now. 11 minutes later. Uh, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's, it's, it's stained? Let's go. Go ahead. Brian Adams. What is, um, I don't know who Brian Adams is. Like, who, what is he saying? No white guy. All right, so you, I lost. We you all lost. Totally lost. We all, we all lost that one. I figured as much. Right. I've never. Um, I would say, I would say he is, um, say white Chuck Berry. I like how John shows up for five minutes, grabs, yeah. his, <laughs> grabs the radio, breaks it, and then he walks out. He's taking the Brian oh, Adams out. Yeah. What are you I'm doing? I'm gonna go listen to this in my tape deck that I still have at home. Why do you still have one of those? ASMR. Oh yeah, look at that steam heat coming thanks, from the thanks, undercarriage. Lennox. You know, there's easier tools to do this with, but... There's gotta be something easier to do yeah, with this, yeah. Uh, one in Rome. <laughs> I'll be back in an hour. Yeah, I'll see you later. Time to grind down these tabs here for our motor mount. Pay no attention to that C4 Corvette right there. I swear, we're just waiting on parts. It's not abandoned.
shut the up. Okay. And after some placement, here's the golden motor resting the upon golden the golden molder on the brackets. Looking real nice. And look at those Crocs, man. Look at that. Yeah. So, oh wow, you're showing ankle. This is this is more than usually. Mm. Look at those ashy yeah, feet. I can't take the uh, this Crocs off, but I do not pay that. Yeah, well, I've never seen Rich's feet either. Fun fact, because he doesn't go swimming. I would never do. All right, all right, we got the tax in, and now we're gonna put the motor on top. Is this the permanent location for it? Maybe. Uh, so is that where it's gonna? Chances leave? are that's probably where it's going to be. Okay. Uh, these tabs are gonna mount right here. Okay. And we'll have these also slotted for adjustment as well while we figure out the final size with the chain and everything. Okay. okay. And then we'll button it up on both sides. Oh guys, this doesn't look like it's gonna be well balanced yeah, because womp, womp. we have to have the motor obviously offset to the side so that the shaft can line up with the chain. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna offset the batteries in the front over here. I'm gonna weigh the two components and figure out what makes the happy medium because everybody knows Harley Davidsons are perfectly balanced bikes. Perfectly. And therefore, beautiful machines. Beautiful machines, beautiful machines. oil everywhere, mm -hmm. and it's important that ours is perfectly balanced and there won't be any oil. So that's a win. I mean, it might still leak it's oil. Still so, yeah, yeah, honestly, just because it's, it's, it still has Harley badges on it. Like the ghost of Harley Davidson will come. <laughs> Actually, the, It'll be the, the tears of, of the bald eagles. <laughs> Just gonna, I miss uh, a, little, a little tear down the cheek. Yeah, just just oil. My brother drives a Harley. Is yeah, that? he rides a Harley. I drove a Harley at one point too. And uh, I, though I don't fit that description. No, you know what? To be fair, I I know I'm kind of crapping on Harley owners. There's some ones that actually look kind of sick. Like in the burnout video mm -hmm. that I had the last video, I'll put it up on the screen now. Yeah. Those were kind of sick. What are they called? Fat boys. You're talking about the bikes, not the people. Oh God, no! The people yeah, on you, the bikes. Yeah, you, you went you went to a different direction. Oh yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> I actually, I actually like. I actually, some of them actually do look kind of cool. Yeah, so yeah, my, my, for my, sure. Yeah, so I, I'll give you that. And that. Most I like of your T-shirt. Like it's a fun shirt. Thank you. Nintendo's gonna send me a cease and desist. Yeah, they, 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 they hate us. <laughs> Stop using our noises. Stop using, Stop using, using our noises. <laughs> but these games are our childhood. Here's where we're left with. Not bad for a McMuffin amateur. Not bad at all. Pretty okay, pretty okay, almost. That's pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. Here's the motor laying on top of the rails. So now we're gonna go look over here to see what Rich is doing. He's doing the golden, what the, sir? I'm looking at controller downloads. I see. But there's yeah, like a program yeah. interface you have to get. Um, I need the interface, yes, the voltage is gonna be uh, 72 volts and um, this is what I have. I've been working on this for hours. It takes a long time to, to program that, this thing. What was that tab you had open? I had, nothing was open. All right, we're gonna grind these little tabs down here so that they mold to our brackets. There's our notch piece. We did it. You, you're really good at grinding. I'm you, you, you really grind hard. Do you know how many kids I have? Maybe not as hard as grind hard plumbing, but uh, you know, we love our boys over there. Literally in their name. Literally in their name. I, I'm just, you know, a mediocre grinder. That's, you know, that's why they're them and we're... That's, that's why they, they, <laughs> they them. That's why they, that's them. Why they them and, and we're... And them us and we're he him. <laughs> and they're they. <laughs> oh, God. And cancel. Yeah. You don't want any gloves on your hands? Nah, I do have a gloveless man. Really? I got, I got you got a raw dog? Harley has some of the strongest paint I've ever seen. Like this powder coating. <laughs> like, I've been growing this thing for a while. This is a powder coat, man. I Look mean, you get what you pay for. Jeez. Is that what you're saying? You pay 50 grand for a bike. They, they paint it well, man. <laughs> yeah, but not all of us American made. You know, they were saying that they were going to outsource. Why would they do that? I have no idea, man. Why would That's any just, company do that? God. Doesn't make any sense. Like, you think that major companies like Amazon and Facebook would do stuff like this? Outsource that? IBM? Mm -hmm. No. No, Those that's companies. crazy. Not the company no. we've grown to love and trust. No, not I mean like Tesla. You know, it's the most American car company, but how many panels have we seen have said, 
Pecho in Mexico. Pecho <laughs> 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 in Mexico, yeah, you're damn right, dude, seriously. <laughs> You know, one of my favorite pastimes is watching Rich's face cock backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your, your lean back is just like... <laughs> there is the controller in the tank, finally. This is the underside. The controller is hidden way up inside there. It's in there, and it's all air-cooled, too. Look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of room for airflow. If we have to add a computer fan... We could do that. We will. So now this is the top side. I don't know what that 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 darning is there. So we Richard. cut we cut this out. What's that? Because this this was covering here before, and uh, we couldn't get access to these two uh, two zoo terminals. So now, after I cut this out, I could just simply do this, and all the problems go away. Yeah, but but, but what's, what's yeah. this? So now what we have we take the tank off and weld the tabs for the controller at the sides, like little winglets. It'd be fun. Are we not going to talk about Come this? Hey. What are you drawing here? Uh, I'm drawing this bike. Oh, wow, look at that bike. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, so, so we got two iterations here of mm -hmm. just trying to figure out what we're doing now that we have the void of the V-twin. Yes. So, obviously, actually, it wasn't that obvious that the bike would look that weird without the motor in it, but it just goes to show you just how iconic a Harley is, and then once you remove that, you're looking at something that's just not... It's like a giant hole there. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So this is what we kind of have come up with. One that's a little overdone and one that's uh, a little underdone. Kind of like a rib cage effect. Mm -hmm. um, the inspiration is definitely coming from like a Ducati monster or yep. Ducati anything. Great bikes, they, by the way. Great, beautiful bikes. <sighs> Amazing beautiful bikes. Beautiful bikes. And they really nail it with that kind of exoskeleton naked bikes setup. What we could do here, this is uh, illustrating where the motor is. Uh, we haven't figured out quite where, how we're going to have the bricks for the batteries. Those haven't come in yet. Yeah, not yet. But we'll do that when we get here. Mm -hmm. Probably we'll match what we have for the front down tubes. So we'll keep that down tube and we'll replicate it here and here or here and here. Mm -hmm. And then have, you know, the opposite angles to just kind of make that, that scalene triangle tessellated effect. Gotcha. No, I like it. It looks great. Pretty excited about it. Steven, a lot of people were complaining and saying that uh, they were upset that this wasn't Tesla powered. I mean, we, the whole point was to not go with the li live wire route. You exactly know? right. A, a live wire is like what? I think they dropped the price. It used to be thirty grand. Now yeah, when like, they removed the HD logo and right. made it live wire only, you go lost figure. like seven thousand dollars. Right, amazing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, branding. So now, now it's twenty three. Still more expensive branding. than its than its competition. Yeah, that's, it's kind of weird. Why am okay. I still wearing goggles? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> but Stephen, you know what? You actually can make people happy. Yeah, how does that? They could win their own test. Oh, uh, you know, is this is a going, reminder. They could win a Cybertruck, a Model 3, Model X, Model Y, or $50,000 in cash. Nice. Through the CCF fund, it helps people in need in the Chicagoland area. There's only 9,999 tickets that are still in the drawing, Stephen. Huh. And on September 5th, mm -hmm. that's the last day for it. So get your tickets in now. Uh, all the proceeds, Stephen, go to people in Chicago, the people in need in Chicago, and not just like handouts and stuff. It's actually helping them get it back on their feet, which is really important. Nowadays. Yeah, no, it's incredible. Food, clothing, job placement, other assistance. And um, I think it's a really great program. So go to the CCF raffle in the description box below. And this is the fifth year. Before I go, this is the fifth year, and they sold out before. So make sure you get your tickets. Hmm. Cool. All um, right, let's get back to the bike. This is where we've left off. It actually looks pretty damn good, Steven. I mean, minus the fact that there's nothing there. But there's nothing there yet, but everything's mounted. Like everything's cabs. ready. Your grinding was really good, too. <sighs> I do. I get I mean, the slow motion. You know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of really get in there. Um, the hand gesture said it all. But the, yeah, you know, yeah, you know this, this is. is. why he's good with the ladies. That's, that's, that's... So the controller's here, and uh, these brackets are meant to support at least 100 pounds, and the controller is about 15 pounds. So that's overkill, obviously. So when this bike inevitably goes off a cliff, because it is a Harley still, <laughs> the controller will stay intact. When it leaks its own oil and causes and, us to and slick. Speaking of that, as, yeah. as you, were, you were doing that, as you were grinding that down, oil was leaking out of the frame. It's still. For, it's still leaking at this point. So hopefully once the welds are in there, that's still of that hole. But <laughs> it, it's, it's incredible. It's actually very impressive. Yeah. I think it looks really good. The fact that the gas tank's going over it is, is a, a good touch. It's funny um, looking at it right now with the gas tank off. It's like, oh, wow, that's going to fit. You know? Yeah, it, it's, it's amazing how big the gas tank is. So once the gas tank is on, we have to do some more trimming because it just lightly kisses the edges. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, a light kiss is good in some cases. But, but not here. No, definitely not here. Nobody wants that. But it, we also left enough room to put the cables in, the, the logic cables for the, uh, for the motor. Okay, so now we have the motor mounted. We have the tabs in. Now we have to take care of the rear wheel. This sprocket came in, 51 tube sprocket, one of the larger ones. I wish I could have went larger, but unfortunately, this is a dish sprocket. It's concave. And that actually brings out the chain a little bit further away from the tire because you don't want it to rub because the tire is actually a couple inches wider than the rim itself. And if it was flat, it would be flat against the tire as well and rub against it. This one again is dish, which will help out in that way. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one that was a little bit bigger than this one that was still dish, but we're gonna see how well this one works. That's good. It actually works. Here's good spacing there. It's one piece of good news. Oh yeah, she's oiled all right. There she is. All right, so now that rear sprocket is in and so is the chain. And it's actually kind of looking like a regular bike right now. So I got this uh, 50 chain, which is more of an industrial style and type of chain. And it's actually very comparable to a 530 chain, which is an actual standard motorcycle chain. Now on the inside, I had to bring the dish in. I was thinking the dish was gonna come out more and be a little bit more concave, but I had to bring it in more because there's not really much adjustability on this motor. It's kind of static in place. So when it's in, it actually brings the inner sprocket in more. This actually kind of looks kind of neat. I, I'm, I'm actually very excited about this. I'm excited about the small sprocket in the front to give it a little bit more power and acceleration, but this thing is shaping up to be really, really nice. Hopefully we can get make some more progress. And once the batteries come in, it'll be a little bit more put together. So I'll see you guys next week.